hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to look at poultry diseases so you know you can believe with me that poultry diseases have been a major concern to poultry farmers many poultry diseases have a devastating effect on growth rate feed conversion and egg production many factors can contribute to diseases in your flock but by becoming educated about these diseases flock owners can protect their beds and promote better animal health in today's video we are going to look into some of the most devastating poultry diseases their signs and symptoms as well as their prevention but if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon so that you will be notified whenever i drop a new awesome video and also like and share this video so in today's video we are going to understand some basic hack on how to identify these particular diseases easily without going for any diagnosis so i'm going to show you a simple step that will not require you to go to any laboratory for disease checkup make sure you stay with me to the end of this video and you will understand how to identify these particular diseases so we are going to take some few of these diseases and then we look at their symptoms how a farmer can identify them in his stock as well as what he wants uh, to do next okay we are going to look at we are starting with avian influenza avian influenza is one of the most devastating poultry diseases so when you have an outbreak of avian influenza in your farm you will begin to experience one you have purple discoloration of waters and comes with swelling cause caused by abnormal accumulation of fluid and then secondly you are going to observe that there is a swollen head and then you will see accumulation of liquid in eyelids and comb you will also notify that pinpoint bleeding under the skin mostly seen on feet and shanks this is a typical uh, symptoms or what you are going to observe once there is an outbreak of avian influenza in your flock the next disease that is one of the most devastating again is the newcastle disease so once there is an outbreak of newcastle disease you will begin to witness weakness that is no laminess and no stiff neck that is you see general weakness in the beds you see pink eye and swollen eyelids with abnormal accumulation of liquids you also notify that there is a foamy discharge from respiratory tract as you can see on the screen you can see foamy nasal discharge accumulation of liquid in the lungs all these are typical symptoms of newcastle disease and then you can bear with me and you can believe with me that newcastle disease is one of the devastating diseases in poultry that result in massive mortality the next disease we are going to look at is the foul pox when there is a foul pox outbreak in your flock you will begin to experience there are, there are going to be a dry form that is what like nodules on the skin as you can see on the screen here that is on the skin on the combs face and then wattles as you can see it on the screen you will still experience wet wet form that is cancers are embedded in the membranes of the mouth larynx and then trachea you also notify that uh, uh, there is a wet form that is brown nodules lesions in the mucosa membrane of larynx when you remove an eroded area is left so that is a typical uh, symptoms that you can be able to identify once there is an outbreak of foul pox in your own flock we have gumboro as you see gumboro is one of the most deadly diseases in poultry especially once it affects your stock that is the end and then this comes as a result of maybe failure on vaccination or lack of adequate and proper knowledge on vaccination schedule so gumboro is one of the most deadly viral infection in poultry once it affects your flock 
almost that is the end of it so how do you identify gumboro first of all you begin to experience there is bleeding into skeletal muscles a large bursa of fibrisius as you can see on the screen here you begin to experience swollen bursa of fibrosis may be enlarged of normal size or reduced in size depending on the stage you see bleeding and swelling of bursa of fibrosis you see bleeding into skeletal muscles of leg this is a typical symptoms that you are going to experience once there is an outbreak of gumboro disease in your own stock these are just few of them and then these are the basic ones next we are going to look at the marex disease this particular disease occur as a result of lack of vaccination of the marex right from the hatchery that is why it is advisable for a farmer to buy your flock from a recommendable hatchery where they have a history of producing quality flock so if you made a mistake right from day one and then you buy a stock or yes you imported or you ordered a stock from a hatchery that is not reliable probably this particular beds may not have been introduced to marex vaccination so the marex vaccination is expected to take place right from the hatchery so once there is a missing step that is this particular bed not introduced to Marex vaccination definitely once you introduce them into your own farm you will begin to experience this particular problem and then first of all you will begin to experience paralysis there are going to be a paralysis that is loss of muscles function as you can see them like the, the, the legs have been broken or you can see the paralysis of wings or that is loss of function of wings characteristics dropping of limb all a typical example of the marex disease so once you begin to experience this definitely this is giving you a signal that you have a marex disease in your own flock secondly you are going to look at twisted neck that is totocolis the neck will be twisted as if it is going to be broken so this is a typical example of the marex disease we have lameness you can see general body weakness as if uh, the beds the beds are not active so once you begin to experience this this is a typical example that yes you have a marex disease introduced in your own flock and then you need to be very careful and then take care of it now you have brachial plexus that is nerve is two or three times the normal thickness swelling caused by the fluid that is odema as you can see on the screen these are typical example of the marex disease so by this example we have been able to identify almost five of these diseases in our next video we are going to look at how do we prevent those particular diseases from being uh, infecting our flock and then we can see the cost effective treatment of these particular diseases we can see how do we go about treating those particular uh, diseases once there is an outbreak in our own farm so this is what we are going to look at in the next video make sure you subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon so that whenever i drop the video you will be notified that yes madam Dre integrated farm have dropped another awesome video which will be very, very helpful to uh, poultry farmers so watch out for the next video on the prevention and treatment of these particular uh, diseases.